up next. This one's got a couple of issues. Number one, where did I put it? The uh, brake handle snapped off at the thin part right there. Kind of like, I guess it faces out right there. If I don't have another one, I can weld that. So that's what caused that. It is completely jammed with grass underneath. I'm going to just check the oil on this bad boy. Probably need a rag it. The, the tilt of the bring it down the stairs. There's two stairs coming into the garage, right? Okay, it's more than full. But not too much more. Has it got fuel, not a drop. Now let's just check and see if it's a if it's a if it's a primer or an automatic choker. It's an automatic choker. Hmm. Well, I don't want to start it up right now because I'll get this. Let me just show you. I'll get this grass fluff all over my garage when I do it. Ooh, yuck! Ooh, poo! And I think it's been sitting outside since whatever happened to it made it stop running. So there we are. But it's got the old quantum on it. And that's usually the last thing that dies on these guys. Hey! So these are the handles. I, when I went through all my stuff and took it to the metal, metal uh, recycler, I kept as many handles as I could because they do get broken. Remember I showed you that, eh? So now, we're going to pull out a couple and see what we got. We need, the width is a big one. Yes, look at that. We got a replacement. Yeah! I know some guys don't keep stuff and some guys keep too much. But these guys are rare. And I'll use a just a cheap tie wrap here to put the bundle back together again. And we'll go to plan B. That's fun guys. Alright, I've got this lawnmower jacked up. I just scraped all the broccoli out from underneath as good as I could, right? And now I'm just checking the blade. I just took it off. 9 16 bolt. Everything looks pretty good. There's about an eighth of an inch wobble in the blade. I don't know if it's the crankshaft or the blade. I guess we could just check the, the crankshaft right now and with you guys watching, eh? It might be, might be okay. Right there, I think. You guys have seen me do this a few times now. There we go. Now, unfortunately for you, i got to turn the motor over. The spark plug is... Well, let's take the plug out. It's got an RCJ8 in it. <laughs> Should be an RJ19LM, right? On an old Briggs squad. We'll have a look at it together. That's, that's, uh, that's the wrong plug, but it does thread in. We're going to do it straight this way. I'm in the way. No, there's nothing wrong with that with that uh, crankshaft. So let's go check the blade. That noise you hear is I'm testing a lawnmower. Long, sad story. You guys can see from over there, maybe. Remember, I'm not Steven Spielberg. Cutting depth, one and three quarter on that side. Two and an eighth on that side. So it's bent. Well, that's always good to know. 
I'll double check it. Yep, one and three quarters there. Oh yeah, you can see it's flaring up, eh? I'm tuning in. There you go. All right, guys. Here's a uh, great example of the BSS small engine uh, cable removal tool. It just so it will start from fresh. It goes on there. It's got a slit. It goes on there like that. Now another pair of these don't hurt either, right? Now we're going to tie wrap this shut just so that we can see if we have a spark. Pardon me, I was just looking for some cheap tie wraps. Now, if that doesn't create a spark, nothing will. Now, I'm going to just have a look. We'll back this up a little bit so you can see. You won't see the spark. And I'm going to take these off now. And we're just going to pull it open and see if we have a spark. The cap's a little small. I do not see a spark. I'm going to take this off and try the same plug. I feel a spark. Oh, man. Let me get my indicator. I know the film is running, so. There, this will help just make it so my arms don't have to be 10 feet long. I'm not showing it. It's showing it, but... Okay, let's try something new. Just because it's so bright out here. I should do it. I'm going to use this first and then we'll go to the, the, the 90 degree connector. Okay, it should. If there's any spark there, it should fire. It did feel like it jerked back on me a little bit. So now, I'm going to take it one step further. this on, which I don't like. I think they're a cumbersome unit and they don't work that well. Oops. I'm being a musty right now. I'm not tightening the plug by hand, eh? Or by wrench. Just by hand. Ugh. And I gotta put some juice in there. We got a mower now, though. Blade's already sharp. Loose plug, loose plug. You guys ready? Okay. The fires were all in free. Oh. Interesting, eh? So now we take this off. Just plug that under there like that if we can. Let me see if it's fine. No gas left in it. We 
before we're done, I'll check that guy again, eh? Should fire. Interesting. Okay. Right on guys, now we can take it inside. Okay my friends, here's our uh, spark plug adapter, 90 degree angle, but it has a resistor in it. And if you look right here, I'm measuring end to end. I've got it poked just on the brass inside there, to the brass here. Whoop. Two point nine five megs, not K. So let's get one down if we can find it, and we'll show you the difference. Okay, don't mind the mess. I found one. It's easier than making the cable longer, right? So we're plugged into this end right here, and we go to the brass end inside here. Four point eight four K, not megs. So that's four thousand ohms, not four million ohms. Okay, that's the one we'll use. This one is four million ohms. See that? Three point zero five M. Oh garbage. Now we get to come back and check this guy out one more time. Please hold on. Don't get dizzy. We'll stick this guy on here. We're in the we're in the shop now, right? Not out on the apron, getting rid of horse feet. Doesn't want to go on, but I did notice that it was harder to plug it in. Okay, so it's got to go at least. Hmm, let's just measure that. I know I'm being a penis rectumus right now, but we got to go in that far. So we have to go in past the silver and then more. There we go. We're plugged in. I'm going to make that tighter. How? <laughs> Good. Now, this time I'm going to squeeze this plug down in case I forget to change it. Ugh. You guys probably never saw any of that anyway. I got a new plug adapter. We got some go juice down the throat. No, that wouldn't be the throat, I guess, eh? Uh, that was for the old RJ8 plug that was in there. So that should fire now, you guys, with, with the little science I have in my head. One step at a time. And the plug's turned on all the time now, right? Okie dokie. Let's have a look at the air filter. Ooh. Wasn't even connected. Mud. Mud City. Here we come. That's my own. I didn't steal that one. Okay, let's just do a fluff. Now we're going to put this back on with the cover. Oh, that is so dirty. Look at that. Good. 
Okay, this will get us. Go this will keep us going until we find out what kind of a mower it is, right? Now I'm going to put some gas in it just to see. I mean, we have gone from a dead lawnmower covered in goo with a crooked blade to a dead lawnmower, no, to a live lawnmower that runs because of that connector, that 4,000 ohm connector, 4,500 ohm. We got oil in it, we bypassed the spark dead man switch. Not a drop of gas in this thing. Six glurps. No, if everything is kosher, we should have liftoff. Let me back you up a little bit so you can take in the whole scene. Check it out. Okay. So if it starts now, the carburetor is pretty clean and the automatic choke will work. What do you think? Yeah, so now what we have is a lawnmower you can actually go and use. It's a huge step. Okay, let's try and get a little more light on the subject. Oh, and I gotta put this hose away because the uh, manager of acquisitions and dispositions will be home soon. So, I do have the other squisherooner things. And, oh, rats, man, how much did you miss? So anyway, we got our guy on the cable. We got our cable attached up here. And when we go like that, it goes like that. Now you whip me. Our old one, I think the cable is okay. Blow some air through there. Squirt a little bit of carb spray in there. I know I'm doing stuff off camera here, sorry. Good. Now that is going to make a nice replacement. I'll find it. Okay. So if you guys are still watching, I think we have a running more. It just needs a tune-up and a check over now. Seems like I might put a rope on it. If I say I might, you know I will. That's terrible lighting for you. Let's do this. I love it. I'm going to shorten that cable that's hanging out here a little bit until I figure out exactly how much I need. Okay, where's that end? I know I shouldn't be looking for ends while I'm. Uh, Trying to make the world a better place. So this was the uh, this was the cable that was inside that conduit, and it's just all rotted off. It was sliding back and forth, but it would break in a week. Not even.
There it is. Yay! So now we're going to stick this guy back on here. Okay, that little, this little guy's worth about three and a half bucks, see? Eh? Worth every cent. Huh. So now, next phase, new plug, new air filter, oil change, the blade I sharpened. Uh, oh, and a little bit of tape, just to take this uh, new cable down. Now let's see if the bag still fits on. I would sell this mower to a friend. wonderful. All right, it's finished and it came out really nice. The black paint is actually in really good shape and it it, uh, it starts with one pull. I won't put you through that. I just wanted to show you how nice it came out. I did glue the, the, the Craftsman label on, and uh, yeah, there we go. That's a nice lawnmower, isn't it? Thanks for watching this video, guys.